Welcome to this video on drug suffixes. Remembering thousands of drug names and what they do is an enormous task, so I'm hoping this video will help you in your study of pharmacology. First, we'll take a look at some blood pressure medications. ACE inhibitors end in pril, such as captopril and lisinopril. ACE inhibitors reduce blood pressure by dilating blood vessels, thus reducing the heart's workload. Beta blockers end in LOL, such as atenolol, propranolol, and labetalol. Beta blockers reduce blood pressure by slowing the heart rate and reducing myocardial contractility. They are given for hypertension, CHF, and chronic heart failure. Drugs ending in dipene are calcium channel blockers, such as amlodipine and nifedipine. Calcium channel blockers relax blood vessels, therefore increasing blood supply and oxygen to the heart, reducing the heart's workload and lowering blood pressure. Angiotensin II receptor antagonists or blockers, or ARBs, end in sartan, such as losartan and valsartan. ARBs inhibit blood vessel constriction, helping blood vessels relax, which lowers blood pressure. Diuretics are often used in conjunction with blood pressure medication. Drugs ending in actone are potassium-sparing diuretics, such as spironolactone, also known as aldactone. These diuretics increase the fluid passed out by the kidneys while retaining potassium in the body, considered a weak diuretic. Thiazide diuretics end in thiazide and are used mainly for treating high blood pressure and edema, but potassium is lost in the process. Hydrochlorothiazide, or HCTZ, is commonly used. Let's look at another group of drugs that cause hypotension, or low blood pressure, as a side effect but with other intended purposes. Drugs used to treat erectile dysfunction end in AFIL and include sildenafil or Viagra, Vardenafil or Levitra, and Tadalafil or Cialis. These medications cause direct coronary vasodilation and special precautions should be taken in men with cardiovascular disease.